Yo guys, welcome back to Explodey FPS. This is Syra, your tech buddy, and today we're diving into a common but frustrating Windows issue. The security at a glance panel not working. Now listen, most of the time this glitch is caused by third-party tools, registry changes, or services being disabled. It's usually easy to fix, but in rare cases, if the system itself is corrupted, then yeah, your only way out might be a factory reset or reinstalling Windows. So let's begin with the easy stuff first. All right, first of all, we're gonna fix a registry setting that often blocks the security panel. Click on the Windows icon, then type Registry Editor and open it. Inside the Registry Editor, navigate like this. Start from H key Local Machine, then go to System. Now expand Current Control Set, then look for Services. This will show a huge list, so just press the S key to jump straight to Security Health Service. On the right hand side, Find the one named start with reg D word type, double click it, and change the value data to three. What this does is re-enable the service to start manually, which helps if it was blocked by some external change. Once done, restart your system. If the issue was registry related, it should be fixed now. Still not working? Then it's time to fix the actual security health service file. Sometimes optimization scripts or aggressive antivirus tools delete or disable it completely. So first, head to your C drive, go into the Windows folder, then open System32. Look for the file named securityhealthservice.dll. If it's missing, no worries, I've dropped a link in the description. Download it and copy it into the System32 folder. But here's something important. Make sure you get the correct version. If you're on Windows 10, copy the file from another Windows 10 system. Same goes for Windows 11. Ask a friend or use a second PC. Once you've placed the file correctly, we'll activate the service. Click on the Windows icon, type CMD, and when you see Command Prompt, right-click and select Run as Administrator. You'll know it's running as admin if the command line starts with C, Windows System 32. If it says something like your username or documents, then it's not elevated. In that case, go to C drive, then into Windows, search for CMD, right-click it, and hit Run as Administrator. Now, copy the command mentioned in the video description and paste it in the terminal. In my case, it says, the specified service already exists. So yeah, mine's already good. But for you, this should activate the service and hopefully fix the issue. If it still doesn't work, Try using the same file from a friend who's on the same Windows version. And if that too fails, well, at that point, your best option is a fresh Windows install. And that's it, guys. I really hope one of these methods helped you out. Most of the time, this issue is fixable, unless the OS is deeply damaged. If you have any questions or want to share your experience, just drop a comment below. I'm always here to help out. This is Syra signing off. Take care.